great to have you here at London Film and Comic Con. How are you enjoying it today? I'm really enjoying it. It's lovely to meet everyone and um, great to see all the other guests and you know, there's a big buzz going around. It's great. Everyone, of course, always loves Doctor Who. What was it you enjoyed, though, about your own character? Um, I loved the fact that she was... Um, she started off, you know, as a little maid, quite polite. And then as the episodes went on, you saw a different side to her. She became really feisty and kick-ass. And, um, you know, she actually really cares about the Doctor and she became more than just a maid to Madame Vastra. We became a sort of double act and, um, you know, rocked up to help the Doctor out, which was fun. Definitely. And we like a bit of kick-ass as well, don't we? Yeah, it's brilliant. And a great to be in a leather cat suit to that reveal and to do some... Uh, stunts. It's good. And when you're doing a character like that, do you kind of make a backstory for yourself and maybe even a future story too? Um, try not to do a future one because I suppose in real life you don't really know what's ahead. But um, yeah, definitely me and Neve, we spoke about our backstory and how we met and you know how I came to live with her. Um, figured out kind of how we'd met the Doctor, but I suppose because it's Doctor Who, time travel and everything, we don't really know what's happened in between. So try to figure out sometimes how we got to a you know North Yorkshire uh, North North England in the Crimson Horror um, yeah I think it's important about my backstory you know me being an orphan and Madame Vastra found me on the street and yeah it's fun it's a good I enjoy doing that as an actress, sort of creating a life for the character. I think it makes a difference, definitely, on screen, you can see it. Now, of course, sadly losing our present Doctor in the near future. What was it like working with the Doctor? Uh, with Matt, it was amazing. Yeah, it was great, because um, the first episode I had with him, I didn't have that much to do, and then the, 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 the ones in the current series, we had a lot more to do, and um, he's just a very generous... Um, energetic person and as an actor he's great to work with because he's always giving a lot and changing it up and um, has a lot of great ideas and yeah you know really bounce off each other well so yeah especially the crimson horror episode was great because we had our own lots of our own little stuff together so it was fun yeah who would you like to see as the next Doctor? There's loads of speculation, of course, about it. There's even like, will it be a woman, maybe? Yeah, we just had this chat in the... We just did a question and answer, and Colin Baker was there, and he said he'd quite like to see a woman, and some people were saying it would be controversial and that it should always be a man. Uh, I can't really say a name, but I think it should be someone who, you know, is kind of unknown at the moment, maybe, and it's uh, a an, an young actor or actress who can bring something new to the part, because... Matt's got such an energy and it's really, you know, obviously it does wonders for people's careers, it changes your life and I think it would be a great opportunity for someone who we may not know and, you know, get to know through the Doctor, through their character. What was it like being part of Doctor Who in the 50th anniversary year? Something quite special. Amazing. Um, I mean, it was just amazing just to be asked back, to be honest, for, the, for not just one, but three. Uh, the fifth, to be the part of the finale especially was great because you had... That obviously leads on to the 50th. And, um, yeah, just I realised doing conventions like this and being on set, how big it is and um, how popular it is. So it was really, really special. Do you think we might ever see you back on screen with the Doctor at some point? I don't know. I'd hope so. It'd be lovely to, for us to come back. I think, you know, we're always turn up to kind of help the Doctor now. We've become his gang, obviously, if Matt's leaving, but hopefully it'd be nice to come back and meet the new doctor somehow yeah i'm glad i didn't die so that's yeah, good